Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to do a quick follow-up video for you. I recently did a video on the cat tourniquet holster I designed. Well, we've had a lot of requests for a couple of different ways to mount it. So we've come up with a few different options. So this is kind of a follow-up review video on the Skinny Medic cat tourniquet holster. The first two we'll look at are designed for a belt. This one is the first one I came up with and it's actually still dirty from fighting pistol. So this one hooks into a belt, doesn't rotate, doesn't move. You pull the red tab and your tourniquet comes out. This piece of Velcro here is gonna keep it nice and secure, keep it from falling out. This clip here is designed to rotate so you can move your tourniquet however you want to to keep it secure. It's got a belt clip on the back, rotates around, locks into position. Same theory, pull your red tab, get your tourniquet out. We also came up with a Molly version here that will lock onto your IFAT. You can put this on a vest, backpack, wherever it has Molly, you can lock it on. The cool feature now is that we can also put this on a duty belt because the duty belts are, are generally pretty wide and this will lock into a duty belt. For the Molly version, we use the CRKT Molly lock. Like I said, your officer duty belt will lie flat into here and then you can clamp this down and this will lock securely and it's not gonna go anywhere. To secure this to your IFAC, your backpack, blowout kit, whatever you want to use it to, this slips in, locks down, and then these just snap shut. And it's, it's secure, it's not going anywhere. So then you pull your tab, turn it comes out. I'll put a link down below so you can click on the link to visit my web store where you can see the Skinny Medic cat turn it holsters. You can also see my different IFACs. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember, you need the right gear and the right training.